Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, as things stand, we don't really understand what's going on here. We don't really understand what's going on here. Um, so select n to be something simple, just so that we can get an understanding of, of what's going on. So let n equals, let's say, 4. So remember, n goes all the way to infinity, but we, we are just choosing a simple case so that we can understand what's going on. So when n equals 4, it would be 3 to the power of 4. So that would mean 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And, and then you've got it times 6 uh, to the, well, n to the power of 4 would be 6 to the power of 4. So 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. And then this thing here, when n is 4, it would mean, um, it would mean, a half times a half times a half times a half and then n factorial well it should be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 but I'm just going to do it the other way 1 2 3 4 so uh, so looking at this here you've got here you've got one fraction well you, you can merge them all into one fraction and here you've got one thing here you can multiply this to the top so, so already you, 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 you can see that you can, um, you can manipulate this. You can actually, uh, you can actually simplify this to n factorial over 2 to the power of n. Uh, and then you've got this thing here, which is whatever here on top. So you're going to get whatever here divided by, divided by this thing, divided by, divided by n factorial over 2. Um, and then, and then you, you times the reciprocal of this. Um, well, well, well. Let's 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 do it one step at a time. So from here, from here, you can see. Uh, let's let's tidy this up. So this thing here is really one over two to the power of n. This n here gets multiplied to the top, so it becomes n factorial. So what's at the bottom here is n factorial. What's at the top remains at the top. And then uh, and then uh, and then here you've got one thing divided by another. So that's one thing times the reciprocal of this. So that would be 2 to the power of n over n factorial. This thing here gets multiplied to the top. That's why you've got this thing here, and then the bubble here, is this bubble here, and then n factorial at the bottom. Well, anyway, this thing here, tidy up, it will then become this. Now, the question now is really, uh, you, you've got one thing over another thing. The question is, as n tends to infinity, will the numerator be bigger than the denominator. If the numerator is bigger than the denominator, then you know the limit is just going to climb and climb and climb. So you know it's going to head towards infinity. If the denominator is bigger than the numerator, then 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 you know the overall thing will just get smaller and smaller and smaller, meaning it's heading towards zero. So so the question here is really which as n tends to infinity, which would be bigger, the numerator or the denominator? So as things stands, we still don't understand what's going on. So so select a, something simple. Let let n be three. Let, select something simple, just just so that we can understand what's going on here. So when n equals three, it will be two to the power of three. So that will be two times two times two. When n equals three, that will be three to the power of three. So that would be three times three times three, and then it, that that would be six times six times six factorial 1 times 2 times 3 blah 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 and so on so um so this this thing here so 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 it, so for a simple case of n equals 3 it gave us this but then rewrite this as this so so here you you're multiplying everything on top you're multiplying everything at the bottom rewrite as this rewrite as this this and this as over this so that's like one thing and then, well, basically, this whole thing here can be re, can be written as this: one thing multiplying another thing, multiplying another thing. Now, as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity, this number stays the same all the time. And then remember, n factorial, n factorial here will, will mean that as n tends to infinity, n factorial, the n will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you look at this here, if you continue this sequence, this stays the same stays the same and then this one here will increase by one by, by one and then later on it will be five later on it will be six you see this thing here stays the same stays the same stays the same this thing here keeps on climbing and climbing so as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity there will come a point where 
where where you will reach uh, two times three times six over or n eventually n will become exactly the same and then as the sequence goes on the the n will just keep on growing this thing stays the same uh, eventually the, the denominator will be bigger than the numerator as n heads towards infinity because if you look at this here the n keeps on growing it will keep on growing whereas the numerator stays the same so eventually eventually the if if you get to let's say n equals 10 to the power of 100 then 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 the denominator will be much much bigger than the numerator the point here is that the point here is that you, you can rewrite this as this and uh, and then from here it, it's, it's hard to see what's going on here but if you look at this if you look at this if you look at this you can see that eventually the uh, the denominator will, will will be bigger than than the uh, numerator eventually the, the denominator will be bigger than the numerator well eventually well if this is going to be very very big then then the overall thing here then the then the then the uh, then the overall thing here will head towards uh, towards zero. So the limit of um, the the limit will be zero. Okay. So so the limit of um, the limit of so the limit of so the limit of this will uh, will will be zero as n tends towards infinity. Okay.